Hello, I'm Stephen, and I'm in charge of purchasing used cars here at Carcraft. Buying a used car can seem like a leap of faith, especially if, like most people, your knowledge doesn't go beyond knowing how to check the oil and water. I'm here to give you a few tips on how to avoid the main pitfalls. First up, the mileage. Check to see if you think there's a fair amount of miles for the age of the vehicle. 12,000 miles a year is normally standard. If you're unsure, you can check www.voza.gov.uk. Next step, assess the bodywork. Can you see any chips, dents or rust? A used car may have had previous paint or body panels replaced. Check to see if any of the panels are out of line or whether the colour is consistent. Feel the texture of the surface. If it's a rough surface, it could be a sign that there's been previous paintwork there and there could have been accident damage. Ask the seller to explain this to you. Is there any roof damage? This could be a sign of previous accident damage and there could be serious safety and structural issues with the vehicle. Under the bonnet, check for any missing or disturbed bolts. In the boot, check that the boot floor isn't creased or had any signs of previous damage. And while you're in there, check the spare tyre and the tools. Are they still there? Do they look okay? Now look inside the car. Are there any tears or holes or rips on the seats or carpets? I know it sounds obvious, but does the car smell? A strong smell of dogs or cigarette smoke can be really tricky to get rid of. Another obvious one, but only if the car is a seven seat vehicle, are all the seven seats there? It can be a costly mistake if the money has changed hands before you notice this. Now look at the wheels. Are they alloys? Any scuffs here are easy and inexpensive to replace, so don't worry too much. But ideally, you want wheels that match. Tires are so important. Check the tread. You can look for the little bars in the tread grooves. The law is very strict here. You can receive three points and a fine of up to two and a half thousand pounds if you drive your vehicle on tires below the acceptable amount of tread. Now the windscreen. Are there any small chips? These are easy to fix, but if left untreated, could cause the whole screen to crack. Now the engine. Turn the car on. Start by listening. Does the engine sound okay? Are there any strong smells, smoke or leaks? Have a look under the oil cap. Is there a pale gunge? This can be the sign of a head gasket problem and you should always get a second opinion before you proceed and buy the car. Check for blue smoke from the exhaust. This could mean an engine problem and you should get a second opinion. Turn the steering wheel. Is there any noise coming from the power steering pump? Look at the dashboard. Are the lights working properly? If any warning lights come on, please ask the seller to explain. Another obvious point, and one which will save you money, check to see the stereo works. Also at this point, make sure your headlights and indicators are working properly. Now, if you get the chance to drive the car, which we would advise, what should you be looking for? Gearbox. Problems here are costly. Do all the gears work? Are there any strange noises? Is there any slipping from the clutch? Don't take a chance. You'll not get far without trying the brakes, so hopefully they'll work. But do they work with a smooth action or do they judder? Also, check to see if the handbrake works properly. Next, the steering. Does the car pull to either side? Tracking can be easily fixed, but you should still be aware. Also, when you go over any bumps, are there any rattles? This could be a sign that the suspension isn't working properly and should be checked out. Finally, if you've got this far and not found anything too worrying, then make a final check of the paperwork. The V5 document or logbook, does it match the seller's name? Are the details the same as the vehicle? Check how many owners, the year of manufacture and registration. Does everything tally up? Is the vehicle an import? Are there any alterations? Next, the MOT. Is it a genuine certificate? Does the mileage tally up with the car's history? If in doubt, again, use the Volza website. Service history. Do the dates and mileages tally? Are there any bills? Has it been maintained by a franchised or non-franchised dealer? The service book should always be kept stapled to the V5 and MOT and kept in a secure place. Spare keys. It's always good to have a spare set as replacement sets are very costly. HPI report. Make sure no finance is owing on the car or else you might become liable for it. Hopefully our guidelines will make buying a used car a little less stressful for you. And remember, if you come to Carcraft, every car on sale has already gone through a 120-point check by a team of expert mechanics.
Each car has been HPI checked to give you total peace of mind. To find your local Carcraft showroom, visit www.carcraft.co.uk and safe driving.